these are impregnated with a feeling of sadness, a vague overshadowing of the emotion of time and the transitoriness of the world that surrounds its momentary existence. This poetic quality, sabi, is felt in solitude, eternal loneliness and the sense of detachment, of seeing all things as happening by themselves in miraculous spontaneity, a sense of deep, illimitable quietude. Sabi is born of age. When one becomes old, it comes without seeking. From the very day it is put together, already ancient, the scarecrow. The scarecrow knows no youth. It is born old. A broken hat, an old stick taken from a fallen fence, some tattered garment or other. From such things it is made. And as an old man from the day it begins to keep away the birds from the field, it is at heart a melancholy object, and we feel in it the faded sadness of things. The scarecrow's hat has fallen off his head, but still the rain beats down remorselessly. Japanese scarecrows, kakashi, are generally made in the form of a farmer wearing a sugigasa, a wide round sedge hat in the shape of an overturned shallow bowl, and a mino, a reed cape fabricated from loose layers of rush leaves. Old legends tell that the god of the mountain comes down to the village in the spring in the form of the god of the paddy fields to protect the growth of the rice. And returns to his permanent abode after the autumn harvest, once again becoming the god of the mountain. It is through the scarecrow that the divine power of the god of the fields is believed to manifest itself. It is but right then that the owner of the field should go and pay his respects to this superior being. Superior not in wealth, but in wisdom, long suffering, and natural piety. In its presence, The farmer will offer prayers for abundant crops in the spring, and again prayers of thanksgiving after the harvest. Though his legs do not walk, he knows everything under heaven. Feet planted firmly in the flooded paddy. Toikari, the scarecrow, waiting for the waters to subside. The heroism of the scarecrow is just the same as that of the heroic man. It consists in doing one's job thoroughly, without thinking about its value or results. And so we need not resist a feeling of admiration, a fellow feeling, for this insensible bundle of rags. Scarecrows have a companionable air. There is nothing fearful about them. If men are trees walking, Then a scarecrow is a good companion. Ware yukeba, tomo ni ayuminu to kakashi. As I walked and halted, walked and halted, so did the distant scarecrow. Life, the unpredictable, subtle beyond the thought of man, lives in the mute outstretched arms of the scarecrow. The scarecrow is man himself, with all the stuffing knocked out of him, man as he one day will be, and therefore as he now is. The bright full moon is risen, but in spite of this, the scarecrow goes on standing there, indifferent. In the moonlight, even the shadow looks human as it lies along the irregular ground. Neither the sadness of transience nor the loneliness of the human condition is expressed in words. The poet conveys by silence that which words cannot convey. Sabi has to do with a particular atmosphere arising from a scene or moment that need not involve a human being. The lonely or quiet atmosphere is created when something fulfills its destiny within the vast expanse of the universe. To realize that all living things are evanescent is sad. Seeing a creature enduring that sadness and fulfilling its destiny, one is struck with a sublime feeling. 
朝風に弓返りたるかかしかな。The morning breeze has taken the scarecrow's bow and turned it round the other way. The frailty of the scarecrow is one of its most human characteristics. Things that have the least capacity to protect themselves from the elements simply endure what is given to them and thereby maintain an equilibrium. Scarecrows obey all the Buddhist and Christian precepts naturally. They do not take care for the morrow. They let the dead bury their dead. And they are meek and pure in heart, merciful to all who seek a shelter in their rags and tatters. Kirigirisu, Naku ya Kakashi no Sode no Naka. The grasshopper's chirping seems to be coming from one of the sleeves of the scarecrow. 日の見後の風よけに立つかかしかな。The scarecrow stands there, sheltering the baby bundle from the wind. The mother has put the baby to sleep under the scarecrow and is now working together with the father nearby. From time to time they straighten their backs and look over towards the child. The scarecrow holds out his arms as if protecting the child from the autumnal wind that blows across the harvest field. For them, in their feelings, in the love they have for their offspring, the scarecrow is guarding it while they are at work. Just as the face of the tiny infant breaks out into a smile on autumn dusk. Japanese sabi has a meaning somewhat different from that of the English loneliness, which suggests dreariness and spiritual discomfort. A condition where it's impossible to love or to be loved. Sabi does not mean that we are in need of company. It is rather a poetical loneliness in which we are solitary but not alone. It is a state of interpenetration with all other things. In the slanting rays of the setting sun, the shadow of the scarecrow reaches the road. While the rice was standing, the scarecrow looked like a man. But now that the rice has been cut, the scarecrow looks like a scarecrow again. And there is some deep meaning in its long shadow, almost a foreboding. The autumn breeze comes across the field, wobbles the scarecrow, and moves on. In the instability and shakiness of the scarecrow is the meaning of autumn. The dying down of vital energy, change and decay all around. The scarecrow stands out in the field in all weathers. It does not chatter or gossip, but stores up its wisdom in silence. Neither speak ill of others, nor well of yourself. For the moment you open your mouth to speak, the autumn breeze stirs and chills your lips. The wind of autumn has a different voice from that of any other season. We can hear perhaps the rustle of death in it. The field has been reaped, the rice dried. The scarecrow is still standing there, however, keeping the absent birds away from the non existent grain. 秋の暮れカラスの中で通り蹴り As the autumn dusk gathers a single crow passes across the pale sky without a single cry Since ancient times the Japanese have considered the crow to be a messenger of the gods A raven flies by without haste It utters no sound And this very fact seems to draw the soul out of us to take away our breath Somehow or other, at this moment, a depth has opened up within and without us. Sabi centers on the merging of the temporal into the eternal, of the mutable into the indestructible, of the tiny and finite into the vast and infinite, out of which emerges a primeval, lonely feeling shared by all things in this world. The scarecrow is wearing a new coat of foreign leaves. 
just a few leaves on the scarecrow, and it wears a robe of fallen leaves. One word is uttered, and the world is never the same again. Sabi is a state of absolute spiritual poverty, in which, having nothing, we possess all. Moments of loneliness or selflessness, of universal life, in which, nevertheless, the individual is not swamped, but still stands clear and distinct. Sabi sa nakuba, ure karamashi. Where there is no trace of sabi, there will be only sadness, nothing more. We may enter into this sabi through the loneliness of evening, the loneliness of autumn. Sabi sa no ureshiku mo ari aki no kure. Within the realm of loneliness, this autumn's eve, there is deep down a welling up of gladness too. The real sabi is the timeless, which does not disdain to use time, sensing the infinite and eternal in the here and now. To the leafless branches of a nearby tree, a crow has come to perch this autumn dusk. It is now late autumn, the crops already harvested. No peasant stirs out in the field, and perfect silence reigns all around. The loneliness of autumn is intensified by the deathly colorlessness of the scene. No zarashi o kokoro ni kade no shimumi kana. Before my eyes, the image of a weather exposed skeleton, right through my very body, a cold breeze blows. Sabi implies something that is given by time and is perhaps the ultimate foundation of all loneliness, since it is time which separates, even more than space. The clothes are tattered, the colors faded, the whole thing wobbly. And the cold wind penetrates the scarecrow to its very marrow. It is the poet, of course, who feels the cold for the scarecrow, but it is the scarecrow that enables him to do it. The cold comes from some mysterious place and with no perceptible reason. Can you explain, Lord Scarecrow? For I do not understand from where exactly, where on earth. Does this cold come? Winter has come. The scarecrow, left unmoved in the cropped rice field, stands in a sorry plight, having no duty to do. The grass is brown and branches bare. Winter has taken away the colors from the earth. The only sound is that of the wind, of no tone color. A wind that tells in its harshness of withered leaves, dry sticks, and sharp stones, of waste and empty places. The persistent cold blast of air streaming through the mountains has laid bare and visible every stone in the field. The bare, colorless field, not an eye of green in it, with one miserable scarecrow, now almost naked, the poles. A single crow on one arm of the scarecrow, and several on the ground nearby. The feeling of loneliness, of resonant quietness, deepened infinitely by the falling sleet. The common garden loneliness that we all feel is not something entirely different from the other loneliness of Sabi. It may be a prelude to the other, it may be the cause. When the energy of the religious and poetic life suffuses it, it may even be the other. A leaden sky. Bare branches, not a sound anywhere. Then there comes falling, not rain, which has the promise of growth, not snow, which unites all things as it beautifies them, but wet, cold, sleet, with neither life nor hope in it. It needs a godlike mind to rejoice in it, and this is what the poet has enabled us to do. <laughs> A faint sound of something makes me look around. The scarecrow of itself has fallen down. Besides all outside circumstances, there is something in each thing, some inner necessity which is so secret that no one can express it, 
yet all may feel and know it. The scarecrow that can be called a scarecrow is not an eternal scarecrow. What then is the eternal scarecrow? The earth has swallowed him up a thousand times, a thousand times. But each time it has given back to him his life with force renewed. And with this perpetual renewal, he is content. He asks no more. He is given the right to labor forever. And he will thus toil on till the work of the world shall have been done. Nuni yamani, umoku mono nashi. Yukinoasa. Across the fields, along the mountains, nothing stirs. This morning of snow. Snow has fallen for the first time this winter, and as the poet gazes over the scene, she sees, as if for the very first time, mountains under white snow shining in the morning sun. The snow can say too, "Behold, I make all things new." There is a sadness made in us by the sight of a beautiful landscape. This mysterious sadness, associated with the sense of beauty, is a sadness of reminiscence, a melancholy longing for the joys of humanity's childhood, the ancient freedom of forest and peak and plain, and the thunder roll of its eternal epic. All this civilization has irretrievably forsaken, but it may somehow revive in that great, soft, dim sadness, which the beauty of a landscape. Makes us feel. Toyama no yuki ni tobikeri karasu ni wa specks against the snow of the distant mountain. In haste, two crows are winging. Savvy is the concept that one attains perfect spiritual serenity by immersing oneself in the egoless, impersonal life of nature. Savvy has some deep and historically distant connection with Nirvana, which is the state of freedom. In which all things are seen as empty, as they really are. No more yamamo, yuki ni torarete nani mo nashi. All of the fields and every mountain, the falling snow evaded them all, until nothing remained. The landscape, covered with snow to the horizon line, so that beyond the snow circle there is only the great void of the sky, vanishes. Section by section, as the sky comes down and obliterates the world with torrential snow. Yuki no hate wa nehan. The end of snow is nirvana. Sabi is little written about, not because of its unimportance, but for precisely the opposite reason. We do not readily speak of what is all in all to us. Haberu wa sabi shisa o aruji daru de. If you wish to follow someone, best to make loneliness your teacher. What can be said is not savvy. The name that can be named is not an eternal name. The loneliness of savvy is found above all in a nameless realm, where the human and the non-human meet and are one. The complete absorption of one's petty ego into the vast, powerful, magnificent universe. In Scarecrow, the last of three Japanese sound pictures compiled and translated by Stephen Henry Gill from Japanese poetry and the prose of foreign visitors, Anthony Jackson was Reginald Blythe, Jim Norton was Lafcadio Hearn, and the other readings were by Eiji Kusara and Megumi Shimanuki. The producer was Piers Plowright.